Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. It's actually an infinite exponential equation. So this is kind of like the 2 and the x alternate. So we have 2 to the power x to the power 2 to the power x to the power 2 to the power x to the power so on and so forth. Goes on forever. And this is equal to 4. And I know what you might be thinking. Hey, this is easy. We can just say that this is going to equal to 2 because 2 to the second power equals 4. But there is a caveat. Um, the exponent isn't kind of um, repeating itself. It is actually the whole thing that repeats. So we kind of have to find a pattern for uh, which um, this expression, you know, contains itself. All right. So here's what we're going to do instead. Instead of picking the whole exponent, we're going to be a little more picky and do this. We're going to start here and then pick this whole thing. And what is that supposed to mean? It's the same thing as the original, because if you think about it, forget the base here. It's as 2 to the power x to the power 2 to the power x to the power, same thing, right? So if this whole thing is 4, then this should also 4, of course, provided that this expression converges, right? Okay. How do you prove that? Something to think about. Anyway, so this gives us something nice because then we are on a finite field. 2 to the power x to the power 4 equals 4. So our original assumption wasn't right because that gave us 2 to the second equals 4, but that expression didn't help us. But this will. So from here, there are two solutions because 4 can be written as 2 squared. And notice that x to the fourth equals 2 from here x to the fourth equals 2 from here. And two solutions. x is either the fourth root of 2 or the opposite of that. Because 4 is an even number. When you raise a negative number to the fourth power, it's the same as if you are raising the positive version. Right? Same as the square. It's just square the square. Okay. So what are we going to do with these? Are these the solutions? Are these the only solutions? What is going to happen? So, are both negative, are both solutions going to work? That's something to think about again. I'm just going to leave that question open. But I just want to show you two graphs instead of one. So, but before I show you the graphs, I want to explain something. First of all, one of the graphs is, because I can't write this infinitely many times, and dot, 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 Desmos doesn't understand what it means, as far as I know. So, we're not going to be able to sh indicate this infinite uh, exponential. Instead, I just took a couple steps and then show you what it looked like, what it looks like. But what is a more interesting version is the following. So let me rewrite the original one. So this repeats, right? Okay. This is equal to 4. Instead of setting it equal to 4, I set it equal to y. So any y value, because 4 could be replaced with anything, right? And then the repeating section here is going to be like this. It's going to start with 2 at the base, right? So this is the same as y. Great. So now we get something interesting from here. 2 to the power x to the power y equals y. So here's a million dollar question. Can you solve for y explicitly? Not implicitly, right? I explicitly. So can we find something like y equals f of x? Can you express it? Again, I'm going to leave that question open. But something interesting happens here. If you graph this, you're going to get a relation. And that graph is actually pretty interesting. So we're going to compare two graphs. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphs without further ado, and then we'll conclude. So the first graph is basically, like I said earlier, a couple iterations of our uh, infinite fraction. So like 2 to the power x to the power 2 to the power x to the power 2 to the power x to the power 2 to the Okay, so on and so forth. If you want me to show you a bigger version, uh, this is what it looks like. Make sense? Okay. I just took a couple steps. Anyways, so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and look at the intersection point. But I have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Our point, which is supposed to be the solution, one of the solutions, the negative one obviously uh, isn't shown here. The fourth root of 2, comma 4, which is supposed to be a solution, is not at the intersection point. Now, why is that happening? Because we don't have the exact graph. We only have an approximation. We only did a couple iterations. Here's the fun part. If you do the whole thing as an relation, 
which is, remember we talked about this, right? Y equals 2 to the power x to the power y. Then you'll get an exactly, uh, the exact intersection point, which is the fourth root of 2, comma, 4. And look at the graph. It, it's a relation because you get infinitely many or more than one output for the same input. I shouldn't say infinitely many. Are there infinitely many outputs for the same input? Again, something to think about. But anyways, I talked too much, so I'll stop. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. Watch the videos. And bye-bye.